dollar, weakening of the dollar. And I think this, uh, the, the prospects of a deal, uh, previously I thought that prospects of a deal would have been bad, would have been good for the dollar, and ideas that it would get rid of a major negative hanging over the U.S., but it seems increasingly that investors disagree, and instead that they take advantage of new positive news to put on this risk on trade, which in effect in the foreign exchange market means to sell the dollar. So the dollar's under a little bit of pressure. We're, at, we're near multi-week highs in the euro, for example. But longer term, in theory, wouldn't this be good for the dollar? If we look out beyond some of the immediate trading moves, and even through the end of the year when there's volatility, I mean, if there is some movement to get the deficit under control, it's a win-win for the dollar, isn't it? I think so, over the, over the longer term. But I think that we still have to get over a couple of other, other issues, including not, not just fiscal policy, of course, for the dollar, but it's also monetary policy. And the Federal Reserve recently did a very, had an extremely dovish posture. And so I think that that's going to contain the dollar, at least in the first part of next year, before the European problems, I suspect, flare back up. Mm. Let's say something falls apart and we do get the sequestration. What happens to the dollar then? I think at least initially we have a risk off. And that would probably be good for the dollar in a kind of perverse way because all of a sudden now the largest economy in the world is going to take a really big hit in Q1 on Q1 growth. And that's going to lower demand for commodities, probably weaken some emerging markets. I think it would become a big risk off trade. Uh, I think that at the end of the day, though, we might go over the cliff. But we probably try to claw our way back. That the full range of what the projections on the sequester is probably not going to hit us. Something more mild, and that's why I think we already you already see this in people's GDP forecast for a modest slowdown, a big slowdown here in Q4, and not a full recovery in Q1.